Would this Asian doubles team of Kato and Sujati have been disqualified if they weren't Asian? The internet is discussing. Yeah, this is going viral in the sports world and the tennis world. Andrew, the names involved in this incident, Buskova, Tormo, Kato, Sujati, they are very cool sounding because we're talking about the French Open. Now, a lot of people are basically saying clearly the Asian team was unfairly DQ'd for an accidental hit towards the ball girl. However, a lot of people are also saying that this D unfair DQ never would have happened if it wasn't Europeans versus Asians, basically accusing the French Open of some uh, underground racism. Yeah, and a lot of people who watch tennis for many, many years said that this was the worst tennis disqualification call they have ever seen in the history of their lifetime watching tennis. So guys, we're going to talk about it, go into the comments section, and we just really want to ask this question. Do you think it would have happened if that doubles team was not Asian and they were in France and everybody else was, you know, not Asian. Yeah, by the way, guys, we're not saying this is the most serious issue. It is a silly issue, but oftentimes Andrew, people don't like to talk about actual serious issues. They want to talk about, you know, see the dynamics within something more trivial or more silly, even though, of course, if you really love tennis, you take this serious. Yeah, so please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. All right, so we're just going to play the video down here. As you can see, there was no real intent by Kato for hitting the ball girl. The ball girl is crying. I don't know. If you're a volunteer ball girl, maybe you should be able to take a hit with the ball to be or, honest. Or maybe like, you should just be aware of where the balls are because that's your job. Yeah, your job is to possibly get hit with a ball on accident. So it happens all the time. Um, Maybe Kato wasn't... uh as apologetic right away, but I don't think she knew how hard she hit her. But anyways, the judge, as you know, calls a warning at first, but then somewhere along the line, the other opponents insist, insist. Tormo and Buskova. Yeah. They, they, they make a very she's big deal. No, no, they're, they're, they're like, there's blood. There's blood from her face. You must DQ. You must default. You must default. And Man. you know, originally, Andrew, the French judge is like, no, 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 I cannot. It's an accident. She's fine. But then a French supervisor from the French Open comes over and makes the final decision. That's where some people are like, I don't know, guys. This looks pretty messed up. Yeah, all right, so let's get into the comment section because this is a bad look for the French Open right Somebody now. says that Buskova and Tormo should be ashamed. No sportsmanlike conduct. They were seen snickering and laughing at the situation. The French Open officials should be taken to task as well. The rule book states violently. There was absolutely nothing violent about the way Kato hit the ball. The ball girl seemed like she was more shocked and embarrassed by the situation, possibly more scared, if anything. It wasn't because she was super hurt. Right, right. It, honestly, that tennis ball, I don't think is going to hurt anybody. And especially, listen, you are a volunteer ball girl. You are volunteering to running on the tennis court to picking up balls potentially in the line of fire. And Do you think this was like some rich old French person's like niece who like probably has no idea what she's doing? You know, like Europe, in my opinion, guys, I'm not saying it has a lot more of these like old world dynamics, you know, like nepotism from bloodlines and things like that. It's a really good point. Actually, uh, I didn't think about that, but maybe somebody said Kato even had the grace to shake her opponents after the default where they clearly cheated. I personally couldn't have done that. Oh, man. And here's the thing about. Buskov and them, they insisted for the other team to get disqualified. Now, I get it if they didn't just, if they just stood there and were like, oh, well, if they get DQ'd, that's what the judges say. But they went up to the judge and were like, no, you got to get them out. Now, they are in competition and you right. want to win by any means and, necessary. And Buskov and Tormo were losing. They were losing the match. They were losing. Right. They were about to lose this game. So what they did, although was dirty in my opinion, it was not completely illegal. Yeah, you can to some extent, guys. And like I said, of course, you know, I'm supporting Kato and Sujati. But at the end of the day, you can argue that what they did was just like what any sort of ultra competitive person would have done. They but it was also unsportsmanlike. And a lot of people feel like they cross a certain threshold of competitiveness into uh, dirty, poor taste. You let me know in the comments down below. Was it just dirty? Was it advantageous? Or was it just part of the sport? Andrew, USA tennis fans that are mostly white actually use this as an opportunity to say that one, French tennis is completely washed. And number two, not all of them, but some of them even said a little racist. Yeah. So this is basically US white 
tennis fans accusing the white French tennis people of being washed, even though I believe they had the sport first. Let me tell you this. This is a bad look for the French Open. I'm not going to lie. Like, whether they were Asian or not, just even if you change the colors or flip the colors of people in this situation, it just looks bad because it's a horrible DQ on any level. Yeah, like, if it would have happened in Japan, and I'm not saying there hasn't been some Olympic things in Asia too, like every home crowd, like... I guess caters to their own tribe of people, but it would have been wronged as well. Right, but you know, uh, Buskova and um, uh, Tormo, neither of them are French, by the way. So there's no, they're they're, they're um, Spanish and Czech. Right. Somebody said ball kids cannot possibly be this sensitive about balls or else do not be there. And this kind of went back to like, yo, the French are such wimps. Clearly, the French are putting people who are unqualified in certain positions out of nepotism. This would never happen in America. We have ball boys in America and even our ball girls are super tough. So this kind of turned back to the American French uh, difference, cultural difference or beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody said uh, in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, Kato doesn't even get a first warning, let alone a full DQ. This just goes to show you society is getting soft, the game is getting soft, and it's transferring over to tennis. Mm, that's crazy because tennis is already not the hardest sport, at least like contact-wise. So if tennis is already getting softer, I don't know. Um, like you said, Andrew, there was still some comments supporting Tormo and Buskova saying the opponents took advantage of an opportunity. Even though it is dirty, it is completely within the rule book. Their job is to win more money and advance their careers and score more French open points. Ultimately, I don't like it, but I'm supporting the DQ. Oh, that's interesting. You know, someone said, I don't like it, but I support the other opponents using their advantage when they can. Right. right. And other people pointed out there's a reason why Tormo has made half a million dollars in a career. Buskova has made $120,000. And Miyu Kato has only made $60,000 in her career. David, so I think there's different levels of this in different sports. Like in basketball, I think that this is kind of like flopping. Right, flopping is not liked. It will eventually start getting fined in the NBA. Right, they have to put a stop to it, right? Because it's gotten, gotten out of control. Yeah, and people complain about flopping, but it is kind of part of the game right now. And a lot of people do it in Europe as well. And a lot of people flop in soccer as well. Also, in boxing, it's is it kind of like Mayweather duck or like what they say, Mayweather duck certain opponents that were going to be tough so that he could stay undefeated? Right, he didn't fight certain fighters in their prime. Is it is it kind of like being hyper-calculating? And what they did, technically, like we said, wasn't illegal, but it was unsportsmanlike, and it was frowned upon. But, I mean, they didn't DQ Yeah, let them. me say this, let me say this. Any competitor will have that thought cross their mind. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, and I'm, we're going to address this later, the only reason they drove it to the 10 out of 10 level of execution was because the other team was Asian. I truly believe that. I truly believe any competitor's going to have that idea because you see an opening, you see an opportunity window. Who that wants who wants to win more money and preserve their career doesn't want to shoot that window. Right. But whether or not you do has to do with the respect for your opponent. That's true. That's true. Somebody says, I'm kind of 60-40 on Kato's side, but she still messed up and did an overly quick rush over to the ball girl when she hit her. That's what she would have did. It was a little absent-minded. And what can you do when people take advantage of your absent-mindedness? All right, so here's the thing about her being absent-minded. I'm like, dude, you're a competitor. You're an athlete. You're in the middle of a match. You're trying to move on to the next round. This is big for your career. Well, you're super locked in, the right? You last, got the blinders on. The last thing you're focused on is a ball girl getting hit by a bounce hit or whatever they call that. It's not a straight slam. It's not like Kato hit it, went bam. Well, she just kind of hit it underhand. Yeah. And in a way, it's like, it goes to show you how good the tennis players are because it was right to her. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, whole, like it wasn't even, a, like, you're a competitor. You're not focused. On, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I got to rush over and, like, con that the ball girl's supposed to be an assistant. They but, just, you know, later Kato did win actually uh, the championship for mixed doubles, male female partners. So it goes to show you, Miyu Kato won one slam, Tormo won zero, Buskova won zero, and then somebody said haters won. Miyu Kato won two, but Tormo and Buskova won ten million haters each. Mm. I do think that a lot of people are very, very displeased with Tormo and Buskova. I'm sure they can make it up and have good careers moving on. I don't think they should be banned from the sport of tennis or anything like that, but it was definitely a bad look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Andrew, let's get into the question section. What should have happened to Kato based on your knowledge? Obviously, me and you, we do not know a lot about tennis. I'm going to go ahead and say in 2023, she probably deserved a warning. 
Just give her the warning that the initial line judge gave her, and then that's it. And if there's another hit that goes straight to the ball girl's face or a three hits, then dock some points or think about a DQ yeah. then. Literally, off one accident is crazy. Yeah, I haven't watched that much tennis, but I've seen clips of ball boys and ball girls getting hit with tennis balls before. Rafael Nadal has done it before, but he's never been DQ'd for that. I heard there was one incident where Nadal or uh, I forgot the other big guy in tennis, like they did it on accident, but they just went over to rush over to purposely show that they were like extra apologetic to make sure that it didn't uh, potentially lead anywhere. Yeah, I do think Kato, the one thing I would say she could have done was apologize quicker. That was it. That's yeah. the only thing. But ultimately, still should have just got a warning. Yeah, I think she's got to be more savvy knowing. And I think the, maybe some of the other guys that were the champions like Nadal and um, I forgot the other name. But like, like they were like aware of where this could potentially could lead. Now, right? if you tell me that the ball girl is part of the game, like things like this are just part of tennis where... If you do hit one of those people or you hit the judge, then you got to be extra nice and you have to play that game. And you tell me, like, that's part you of the game. You mean the theater of it of all. being a savvy player. Just kind of like, um, uh, you know, how a referee is on the football field. Or if you bump into a referee, they're part of the game. If a referee gets in the way of your shot. But, but it, yeah, it helps to be really apologetic. Like, I remember LeBron was really apologetic to Scott Foster yeah. when he bumped into him in the playoffs this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, being nice to refs and being mean to refs. I guess, I guess, if you tell me this part of the game, I'm sorry. Somebody said, if they were not Asian, I honestly think multiple things do not happen. I don't think that the mean girls of Tormo and Buskova push that hard for the DQ, and I don't think the French supervisor comes over and actually DQs them. To be honest, I don't know. I actually agree with this. You know what it is? The, the, the French uh, supervisor needs to come out and say, well, you know, I did not see Keto apologize to the girl she did not apologize and all we ask at the french open is that you apologize well, if you hit somebody well, because uh you know to be honest uh, that was my niece so you know yeah. i had to look out for my niece and that that is how it goes in the french open that's how we do things here uh anyways you guys uh we're gonna wrap it up there uh let us know in the comments down below what you think um watching the clip over do you think Kato could have done anything differently or do you think this was kind of racist or do you think race maybe wasn't a factor and it's just an unfortunate DQ? Um, let us know in the comments down below because the rest of the internet is debating. It is true that right now tennis is mostly primarily in, in terms of a, a statistical level, it's mostly Europeans and Asians. So I'm just saying the match was in Europe. It's got to count for something. I don't, you know, I don't want to say how much. I think it mattered. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys. Until next time, we out. Peace.